Hello guys, my name is Isar from Bytes Crafter and welcome back to data processing tutorial that we are making. Uh, previously, we did a bump into the enum to string conversion. Basically, it we just convert the C sharp enum to string, and the next one is uh, converting a texture data, a texture 2D or a texture to a base 64 string so that we can uh, save our texture on our mysql server or on our player preps as local storage the third one is the last one the c sharp class to string basically we did uh, try to create a serializable class so that we can save uh, the class variable as a whole uh, to string in the name of format called the xml format which can be used on website and a lot of things so because that i think xml is the first format that had been uh go around for so many years and now shall we continue that uh, today's tutorial is all about uh, how to convert will it will uh, by the way it we will now focus more on the unity side we will try to uh, we will try to uh, wait <laughs> I'm sorry I'm running out of words and previously this is our script and what we need to do now is to be able for us to set the source image because this is a sprite a type of sp sprite you cannot uh, set this by using the texture 2d so in bs script so let's jump onto the mono develop to to continue our tutorial <coughs> sorry so that i can uh show you what i mean so basically here is all the previous script that we have completed if you watch our my previous tutorial <clears throat> so what we need to do is just to comment this out we can use by the way you can always use this one instead of commenting commenting all of uh, typing all of that uh, double forward slash you can always use this one without using this all of this forward slash yet just a little uh, got to know good to know things let's put it here so that we can start uh, the tutorial clean and neat I will not try to delete this uh, all of this uh, example or test script so that we uh, on our future tutorial we will be able to be reminded how to use the method now <laughs> before we jump onto this data processing uh, I need to explain to you what I mean so we will now we will try to create a public I'm sorry public text oh, I'm sorry this should be image the this image is inherited to a namespace called unity.ui so <coughs> sorry for that and now we will call this as display should be equal to null at first you can always say display it will be equal to null but i want to always make my code or uh, your code as clean and neat so like that so basically it makes my eye to automatically know that that variable is null i should set that one so that is my personal preference the next thing to do is we should create uh, new texture 2d texture well we're not uh, actually creating but we are uh, making uh, a storage for the variable so we call this textures 
and should be equal to null also now we will try to create a void start for some of you who is a beginner the void start and void awake void update is inherited in my dubel and mono behavior um uh start is basically uh called uh, upon the initialization of the your software or your game or your app so now let's continue i've said and let's try to reference it out reference the reference the image display directly now we can try to find texture so uh image image script because uh this is this image is also a script made by unity if you try to find the variable in that uh ui tool you cannot find one they got here the main texture you can uh, set this uh you cannot set this because it has only a uh, get uh, get function you cannot set that one and if you try to set in uh, texture 2d in a sprite it uh, theoretically and accordingly it is not possible to set a sprite uh, directly from texture 2d or you can say texture yeah it uh it has a texture 2d yet it it has only a get function it does not have any set function so we have a problem here this is uh, a problem that we should uh, solve so hopefully you got one i mean so we can now jump on to the data processing script so just a recap uh, we created a class called data processing inside a namespace so that we can easily access without referencing referencing the data processing script we can easily access each of this method but but you should also declare here that you are using that namespace called data processor and now we continue now like what we did here we will now try to create a public so that we can access this one this method and we tag it as static so that we can access this method without uh referencing this uh this pra data processing script so we are returning a sprite and we will call this as uh texture to sprite now we enclose this one but we are passing a parameter type of texture 2d and we call this as texture textures now we can easily return <coughs> return a sprite just by creating but we need to uh, get reference uh, texture 2d a rec and a, a vector 2 as pivot so before we continue we need to create those one those parameter so we create a new rec we call this a uh, new rec is equal to new rec now there are different uh, method here inherited method but I think the best uh, inherited method is the last one the number four so basically this X is the position to where the pixel will start and in creating an image the pixel uh, pixel axis or the pixel position that the texture 2d must start is 0, .0. it is on the bottom uh, left corner so we can say 0 f 
and 0F for the position. And for the size, we are using the width of the texture 2D that we are passing and the height of the texture 2D that we are passing. Now we have a new rec. Now the next one is to create a vector 2. Vector 2 as pivot. So we call this as a new new pivot. Now we we uh, basically uh, for the beginners we always try to put new when we are creating a new parameter so such as this so a new type so we create a new parameter but we need to de declare where should be the pivot uh, be placed so in my own pre preference we should put the uh, pivot on the center of the image so we can say it is basically 0 to 1 so we can say 0 0.5 f for middle and now I think that all parameters are complete first thing to uh, pass is the texture 2d the next is the new rec and next the last one is the new pivot so before we continue on to the process we will try to recap here we are returning a sprite and we call the method as texture to sprite and we are passing a parameter of a texture 2d so to be able for us to return a sprite type of texture we need a texture 2d a rect and a pivot so we can create a new rec just by saying rec new uh, new rec is equal to new rec as uh, uh, starting at uh, position 0 at x axis and position 0 at y axis and we need to pass on the width and height of the texture the next thing is to create a new pivot as a vector 2 type and just by saying new vector 2 and 0 we did pass a 0.5 comma 0.5 because we want the pivot at the center of the image so we can uh, create a new sprite just by saying uppercase s or sprite that create and pass all of that parameter and it will return up a sprite and theoretically it will not result an error uh, after we build as you can see now we can easily use that uh, script now please be reminded that if you use a namespace for that class and if you are new to this tutorial you should use a data processor if you enclose the data processing class inside uh, the data processor now after that we can now access that uh, specific method from the data processor uh, processing class we can basically say because this is uh, sorry this is a type of sprite we can easily say data processing that texture to sprite so we only need to pass the texture 2d and I think the process is complete now we will try this uh, on the unity 3d let's try and here is the sample script the one that we uh, made uh, the void start and we should reference the display on the display image and I think we should uh, I'm sorry about that try to enlarge this one you can always uh, uh, press alt to be able to uh, maximize or resize the UI and ship for uh, proportionate uh, proportionate scaling so and then we use this uh, tutorial as a texture 2d tutorial image that we previously used 
on our tutorial. Now we we can now test our script. And as you, as you can see it is now working and the pro, uh, the method was a success. Now maybe you are asking what if I need to uh, get the texture to the of a sprite? So basically you can just can say uh, you you will just say display and I'm sorry for that there is a new comment display dot uh, sprite accessing the sprite and texture 2d now you have that is a set from the sprite so I think that's it uh, that, we, that would be all for today's tutorial and hopefully you get the point you uh, get the importance of uh, converting uh, texture to sprite in unity and it is much uh, very important in game development to be able to use the image uh, for example your application or your game is loading an uh, text uh, texture from your mysql server or loading a texture 2d from your player preps or local storage and that's it if you like this video leave, leave a thumbs up if you don't like this video you can dislike it but please guys I'm always asking for a support I having I am having now a 900 uh, 5 subscriber and hopefully it will bump uh, bump to 10,000 or just a dream but uh, I appreciate you so much to all the person that uh, made this far and i will uh i promise to make tutorial daily as you can see this is a daily tutorial in data processing and for you guys thank you so much and have a nice day